Chapter 838 Wu Dong Qian Kun Ji Yu Yan and the rest were a little stunned as they looked at Lin Dong, who had extended his hand in a confident manner. A feeling of helplessness rose within their hearts. This fellow. You have yet to show us. Who knows if you will run away with the Zan Yuan pills? A Ji Yu clan disciple muttered. I have already said that I need the Zan Yuan pills to heal my injuries. Lin Dong said. Ji Yu Yan was helpless. She had heard that Lin Dong needed the Zan Yuan pills. However, she did not expect that this fellow would be so anxious. 10,000 Zan Yuan pills is not a small sum. The direct descendants of our Ji clan receive less than a thousand each month. How about I gather them first? Ji Yu Yan said. Deal. Lin Dong nodded in a straightforward manner. After which, he turned around and walked towards a spacious carriage. He said, All of you should hurry. I will spend these two days recuperating. Otherwise, it will be troublesome for me if that divine symbol master attacks again. Ji Yu Yan looked at Lin Dong's figure entering the carriage, and involuntarily frowned. Elder sister Ji Yu Yan, can this fellow be trusted? Although he might have some ability, not just anyone can deal with a divine symbol master. A Ji Yu clan disciple softly said. His voice was filled with doubt. The other Ji Yu clan disciples also nodded repeatedly. Clearly, they still had their doubts. However, due to Lin Dong's ruthless attitude earlier, they did not dare to question him in front of him. The demonic beasts that attacked us tonight were indeed controlled by someone. Moreover, it is likely that only an expert with mental energy cultivation who has reached the divine symbol master level would have such ability. Ji Yu Yan softly said. From my observations over the past few days, this Lin Dong does not seem to be someone who speaks empty words. Moreover, the current is indeed do not have much of a choice. We must obtain the life mysterious spirit fruit. I must also borrow its strength to break through to the profound life stage. Otherwise, it might be difficult for our GU clan to obtain any good results in the five clans martial gathering two months later. GU Yan clenched her jade like hands and said. The surrounding GU clan disciples could only nod upon hearing this. With the current situation, it was clearly too late for the clan to send reinforcements. Now, we can only believe that he really has the ability to fight against that divine symbol master. Ji Yu Yan's eyes looked at the carriage that Lin Dong had entered, and softly sighed. Ji Yu Yan did things swiftly and decisively. In less than half a day, 10,000 Zan Yuan pills had been delivered to Lin Dong. This efficiency caused the latter to feel somewhat satisfied. Lin Dong sat within the spacious carriage. The environment of this carriage was clearly much better than the previous one. Lin Dong did not stand on ceremony towards Ji Yu Yan and the rest. Previously, he did not want to have any entanglements with them. However, now that he had agreed to help them, he naturally did not feel any burden in asking for their help. I put in the effort, you put in the money. It's a fair deal. Of course, Lin Dong naturally had his own considerations in this transaction. The life mysterious spirit fruit was something that even he coveted. Moreover, it was a little strenuous for him to snatch it from the hands of so many experts by himself. Now that he had joined forces with the members of the GU clan, it would be much easier. As for how they would split the items after they obtained them, they would discuss it after everything was over. In any case, Lin Dong was not someone who liked to suffer losses. With these 10,000 Zan Yuan pills, I should be able to recover from my injuries within a few days. Lin Dong held onto the Chankin bag in his hand. The bag's mouth opened slightly, and an extremely boundless and pure Yuan power immediately radiated out. Within this Yuan power, there was also a faint life force. This life force had the miraculous effect of reviving the dead. For a profound life stage expert, as long as their physical body was not completely destroyed, it was basically possible for them to recover. This was because the life chi that was born within one's body allowed one to regenerate even a broken limb. If Lin Dong had reached the profound life stage before he was injured, with the powerful recovery ability of his physical body, it was likely that he would have long since recovered his strength. Lin Dong flicked his finger, and many pale white Zan Yuan pills flew out from his Chankin bag. Finally, they lingered around his body. Immediately, the entire carriage was filled with surging Yuan power. Lin Dong inhaled a deep breath of air when he saw this scene. A faint comfortable expression flashed across his eyes. A thought passed through his mind. 
and devouring power was quietly emitted. Buzz buzz. As the devouring power was emitted, the surging Yuan power that permeated the carriage immediately poured into Lin Dong's body at a shocking speed. Under this majestic pouring, the surface of Lin Dong's body also began to flicker. The originally injured meridians and bones within his body also began to recover their vitality under the pouring of this Yuan power. Lin Dong basically did not leave the carriage for the next few days. All of his time was spent on absorbing the Zan Yuan pills to heal his injuries. The effects of the Zan Yuan pills had indeed far exceeded Lin Dong's expectations. With the life qi contained within the nearly 10,000 Zan Yuan pills, the injuries within Lin Dong's body also began to recover at a speed that far exceeded his previous speed. Of course, this was also due to the devouring power within Lin Dong's body. If it was an ordinary person, even if they possessed such a large amount of Zan Yuan pills, it would be impossible for them to completely absorb the life qi within them into their body without any waste. After experiencing the beast attack that night, there were no other similar attacks. It was likely that the Wei clan did not wish to fight head-on with the Ju clan before they truly saw the life mysterious spirit fruit. This was to prevent others from reaping the benefits when the time came. Lin Dong made use of this short period of peace to make the best use of his time. While he was in seclusion to recuperate, no one from the Ju clan disturbed him. Only Ju Yan would occasionally get Ju Ya to send some essential items over. Such treatment was clearly many times better than a few days ago. Amidst this silence, the convoy gradually approached the deepest part of Mysterious Spirit Island. Everyone could sense that the number of people from various factions around them had also begun to increase. Buzz. Majestic Yuan power surged within the carriage. A Yuan power vortex had formed above Lin Dong's head. The vortex was in the shape of a bucket, and was connected to the top of Lin Dong's head. Yuan power crazily poured in. The light around Lin Dong's body continuously flickered, while green light faintly flickered on his skin. As his skin vibrated, an extremely astonishing power was emitted. It was as though even the air was resonating with it, emitting a faint buzzing sound. Huff. Suddenly, Lin Dong's eyes, which had been tightly shut for a long time, slowly opened. A brilliance flashed across his pitch black eyes. In that instant, even the air seemed to be torn apart. A mouthful of black air was spat out from Lin Dong's mouth. Soon after, Lin Dong's body shook slightly, and the bones within his body immediately emitted waves of firecracker like crackling sounds. A faint dragon roar followed. My injuries have finally healed. Lin Dong clenched both of his hands tightly. He sensed the familiar majestic strength within his body. Even someone like him could not help but feel excited at this moment. Only true strength could give him a sense of security in this foreign land. He had been constantly on tenterhooks during the previous period. However, this is not the end. Lin Dong muttered to himself and laughed softly. He could sense that the current him was already at the peak of the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. There was only a thin layer separating him from the 9 Yuan Nirvana stage. The current him clearly possessed the qualifications and strength to pierce through it. As his laughter faded, Lin Dong waved his palm. The remaining 4,000 over mysterious spirit pills within his Chankin bag all flew out at this moment. Lin Dong clenched his fist. Devouring power was emitted, transforming into a black vortex in front of him. Plop plop plop. The 4,000 over mysterious spirit pills seemed to have transformed into a torrent as they charged into the black vortex at an astonishing speed. Soon after, they transformed into an unusually vast and majestic Yuan power that completely charged into Lin Dong's body. Bang bang! As such a majestic Yuan power poured in, a low and deep sound suddenly erupted from within Lin Dong's body. Soon after, the skin all over his body began to rapidly turn scarlet red. In fact, even his pitch black eyes were filled with a fiery red color. Waves of extremely berserk fluctuations spread out. The ninth Nirvana tribulation had finally arrived. Chapter 839 Wu Dong Qian Kun. Mysterious Spirit Mountain was the largest and most majestic mountain on Mysterious Spirit Island. The mountain peak was thousands of feet tall, and directly pierced through the clouds. Clouds lingered around the middle of the mountain blocking all gazes that attempted to look up. At this moment, 
there were many figures continuously rushing out from the forest at the foot of mysterious Spirit Mountain. Finally, they gathered here, and their eyes contained a fiery heat as they looked towards the top of the mountain. That place was rumored to be where the life mysterious spirit fruit would appear. Roar. As more and more experts gathered at the foot of the mountain, some extremely ferocious beast roars were faintly emitted from the top of mysterious spirit mountain. The roars contained a warning that could be discerned. Clearly, those powerful demonic beasts on mysterious spirit mountain had also sensed these uninvited guests. As demonic beasts that had reached such a level, their intelligence was not weak. They naturally understood why these people had come. However, the people present did not take these beast roars seriously. Although they understood that the demonic beasts on Mysterious Spirit Mountain were extremely troublesome to deal with, they could clearly ignore such dangers in the face of the allure of the life Mysterious Spirit Fruit. Gulp. A convoy also emerged from the forest at this moment. Finally, it came to a halt at the foot of the mountain, which was bustling with noise. There were quite a number of people in this group. Hence, they attracted many gazes the moment they appeared. Oh, are they from the G.U. clan? Quote. The one leading them should be G.U. Yan, right? What a beauty. It is rumored that she is an expert with half a foot in the profound life stage. It is likely that she has come in order to snatch the life mysterious spirit fruit and use it to break through to the profound life stage. Quote. Ha ha, that won't be easy. Who here does not covet the life mysterious spirit fruit? Although Ji Yu Yan's strength is passable, she is still a little lacking. Ji Yu Yushin might be able to do it. That's right. Ji Yu Yan's cold and elegant face did not have the slightest ripple after hearing the many whispers from around her. Her eyes slowly swept around her, and her eyebrows knitted slightly. It seemed that there were quite a number of experts from various places who had come for the life mysterious spirit fruit. I wonder how Lin Dong is doing. Ji Yu Yan's eyes turned towards the two carriages behind her. At this moment, there was no activity from within the carriages. There had been no news of Lin Dong ever since he had shut himself to recuperate. If it was not because she could still sense his aura, it was likely that she would have thought that Lin Dong had already fled with the mysterious spirit pill. Sister Ji Yu Yan. While Ji Yu Yan was looking at the carriage, a Ji Yu clan disciple suddenly looked into the distance his expression somewhat ugly. Hmm. Ji Yu Yan turned her head around and looked over, before a cold glint flashed across her eyes. There was a group of people heading towards them. At the head of this group was a man dressed in blue clothes. The man's appearance could be considered somewhat handsome. However, his somewhat sinister eyes destroyed a large half of this handsomeness. It's Lu Jian, that hateful fellow. The Ji Yu clan members frowned as they looked at the person who had arrived while a trace of disgust appeared on their faces. They were not unfamiliar with this person. Lu Jian, the young island master of Sword Heart Island. He could be considered to have some fame amongst the younger generation of the Heaven Wind Sea region. Back then, he had once pursued Ji Yu Yan. However, he was too narrow-minded. After being rejected by Ji Yu Yan multiple times, jealousy and hatred arose in his heart, causing the originally neutral Sword Heart Island to lean towards the Wei clan which had quite a bit of enmity with the G.U. clan. It is unexpected that the people from Sword Heart Island have also come here. G.U. Yan knitted her brows slightly. If these fellows were to appear here, it was likely that they would stand on the Wei clan side. In this way, they would feel even more pressure. Many people around the foot of the mountain watched this scene, while their eyes contained some amusement. Soon after, their gazes turned towards the distant mountain slope, where a large group of people had stopped. The person leading them was surprisingly Wei Song, whom they had met a couple of days ago. At this moment, Wei Song's face contained a faint smile as he watched this scene. Clearly, the reason why Lu Jian dared to swagger towards the Ji Yu clan was because he had the support of the Wei clan. Brother Xu, you say that there are hidden experts within the Ji Yu clan convoy? Wei Song tilted his head slightly, glanced at the black robed person beside him, and asked with a smile. I have exchanged blows with him that night. He is indeed quite strong. The black robed person paused for a moment, before continuing in an indifferent voice, however, I am confident that I can kill him if we fight. Ha ha, Brother Shu is a divine symbol master. Even in the entire Heaven Wind Sea region's younger generation, you are an outstanding existence. Some small fries will naturally have difficulty contending against you. 
Wei Song smilingly said. My Wei clan will perhaps have to rely on Brother Xu and Senior Gui in this five clans martial gathering. The black-robed person smiled indifferently and said, that Ji Yu Yushin of the Ji Yu clan does indeed have some ability. If we were to fight, even I would have difficulty defeating him. However, with Senior taking action this time around, even if he is able to escape with his life, he will definitely be seriously injured. He will definitely be absent from the upcoming martial gathering. Without Ji Yu Yushin, there will no longer be anyone amongst the younger generation of the Ji Yu clan who can shoulder the burden. Wei Song involuntarily laughed upon hearing this. After which, he smilingly looked towards Lu Jian's group, who were approaching the Ji Yu clan convoy, and smilingly said, In that case, I will stop Ji Yu Yan's group here. As long as I am able to obtain the life mysterious spirit fruit, Ji Yu Yan will have difficulty contending against me. Additionally, I want to see just who else is hiding in this convoy. To think that they actually dare to interfere in the matters of my Wei clan. When he spoke until this point, a dark and stern expression flashed across Wei Song's smiling face. While Wei Song was conversing with the black robed person beside him, the people from Sword Heart Island in the distance had also approached the Ji Yu clan convoy in front of everyone's eyes. Ha ha, Lil Yan, what a coincidence. You have actually also come to Mysterious Spirit Island. The blue robed Lu Jian was all smiles as he looked at the tall and graceful Ji Yu Yan. A trace of fiery heat flashed deep within his eyes, as he laughed in an extremely intimate manner. Ji Yu Yan glanced at Lu Jian. She was really unable to suppress the disgust in her heart. Her eyes were indifferent, and she actually did not even want to acknowledge him. Lu Jian's expression was a little awkward. It was likely that he did not expect that Ji Yu Yan would actually ignore him. Immediately, he laughed dryly. An additional trace of darkness appeared in his eyes as he said, I have only come over to give you a kind reminder. The life mysterious spirit fruit is something that Brother Wei Song is determined to obtain. Therefore, in order to prevent something that you do not wish to see from happening, all of you should be careful. The expressions of the Ji Yu clan members immediately turned a little ugly when they heard the threat contained within Lu Jian's words. What a scoundrel! Do you really think that your Sword Heart Island will dare to randomly step on my Ji Yu clan just because you have latched onto the Wei clan? Ji Yu Ying laughed coldly. Her words were still sharp, and she did not give the other party any face. What a sharp tongued lass. Lu Jian's eyes turned cold. Clearly, he had been angered by Ji Yu Ying's words. He immediately took a step forward and slammed his palm forward. A sharp palm wind enveloped the latter. Ji Yu Ying swiftly pulled back upon seeing this, and dodged the sharp palm wind. However, she did not realize that Ji Yu Ya was standing behind her when she dodged. Bang! Ji Yu Ya was also startled by this sudden attack. Soon after, Yuan power hurriedly gathered on the surface of her body. In the end, she forcefully received this palm attack. The force exploded, and Ji Yu Ya's petite little body immediately staggered backwards. After which, she was hurriedly supported by a couple of Ji Yu clan members. They looked at Ji Yu Ya's small pale face as fury immediately surged within their eyes. Ji Yu Ya. Ji Yu Ying's expression also changed because of this scene. She immediately glared at Lu Jian, you bastard. Lu Jian, do you really think that I do not dare to kill you because the Wei clan is here? Fury also surged on Ji Yu Yan's face. Lu Jian's expression changed slightly when he heard the murderous intent contained within Ji Yu Yan's voice. Soon after, he laughed, if it was not because of her mocking words, I would not have intervened. You cannot blame me for this. He had come over this time around because he had been instructed by Wei Song to stir up trouble. Therefore, he was not afraid. Ji Yu Yan's face was ice cold. She clenched her hand, and a long's word that contained a cold aura appeared in a flash. Majestic Yuan power surged all over her body. Ha ha, Miss Ji Yu Yan, there is no need to be angry. It is merely a small matter. A laughter was transmitted from the distance just as Ji Yu Yan was unable to control herself and was about to attack. After which, the sound of rushing wind appeared. Wei Song led a large group over and landed on a tree branch. That carriage, the black robed person's eyes swept over the Ji Yu clan convoy. After which, they paused on the carriage that Lin Dong was in. Oh? Wei Song lifted his brow. Soon after, a cold glint flashed across his eyes. 
With a jerk of his sleeve, dozens of cold lights suddenly rushed out and shot explosively towards the carriage from all directions. What are you doing? Ji Yu Yan was greatly startled by Wei Song's actions. Only then did she understand that the latter's group was actually targeting Lin Dong. Swoosh. The cold lights tore through the air at an extremely shocking speed. After which, they contained a sharp wind as they ruthlessly shot into the carriage, instantly turning the carriage into a hornet's nest. No one? Wei Song immediately frowned when he saw that there was still no movement from the carriage. Be careful. However, the eyes of the black-robed person beside him suddenly hardened while he was frowning. He waved his sleeve, and majestic mental energy transformed into an invisible barrier in front of him. Bang! The barrier had just been formed when the nearby carriage suddenly exploded. Many cold lights shot back at an even more ferocious speed. At the same time, a wild and violent aura soared into the sky from the spot where the carriage had exploded. Have they finally shown themselves? A sinister cold expression flashed across Wei Song's eyes upon seeing this. To be continued.